I'm Nikki and welcome to the Preppy Possum. Today I'm going to lead you step by step through a painting. Let's paint a lighthouse. We're going to paint Cape Lookout at night. So let's start with like a good drawing brush. So like a number four and dry it off. And to draw, let's use like a really light blue or something. So that way it'll show up a little bit, but we can come back and cover it up. I'm probably going to start by throwing a line like straight up through the middle, kind of. Well, let's start by like skipping down from the top at least five or six inches to kind of be the top of your lighthouse. Let me move that up which it's okay if yours ends up being like taller or shorter. As long as we have a little bit of area for the, for the beam. But once you get like a little whoop, so skip down like five inches, throw you a little line that barely leans up, then go ahead and throw you a line straight down from that. Just kind of hit it once because it's just a guideline. And then once you get that from both Let's go ahead and like from both sides of the top, just bring it straight down for at least like an inch and a half or so. Maybe a little bit more. And then we'll go ahead and do like a little, let it lean in just a little bit. So let it dip in just a smidge from both sides and then we'll bring it straight down for just like a quarter of an inch, just barely. So it's like on the left hand side you're doing a little right hand side of a rainbow and on the right hand side you're doing a little left hand side of the rainbow. And then let's bring it down just a little bit more. Making sure I got it wide enough. We might have to widen it up just a smidge. And then right at the bottom of that, let's throw a line that just kind of curves up and it can hang out over the edge a little bit farther. So it can lean up just a smidge and let it hang out over the edge just a little. And now we're just going to throw a line right off the bottom of that and it can get a little bit wider as it comes down. So like over here on the left hand side, we're going to let it maybe like it might help to mark it at the bottom first. So skip to the bottom, skip over at least a couple inches on both sides and make you a little mark. But like I said, don't worry if yours is like bigger or smaller than mine. And then we'll just connect the top to the bottom. Just to get the start. All right. So I think that's a pretty good start. Let's go ahead and skip back up to the top where we had that little part where it dipped out and just throw you a little line that leans up right there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll fill that little cap in later. So we'll just throw a little line that leans up right there too. All right, now let's get our little diamonds on there since we're doing Cape Lookout. Let's skip down just a tad bit from the house part and we're gonna throw a little line across. So it just kind of mirrors the top edge. It just barely leans up. And then once you have that, let's go ahead and we're going to make it like start the little diamonds. So we're just going to throw a little line that leans to the bottom left. And we'll do the same thing on the right, a little part. And we can come back later and tweak them since we're just kind of drawing it on with this. And then we'll go ahead and get our next diamond on there. And then now, then I need to probably need to skip a little bit more space right here. Not as much of the diamond show on the right hand side. All 
All right, well, that's a good little start for us. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and wipe off our extra, and let's just grab some of that off-white, see that same size brush, and just grab a little bit of off-white, and we'll go ahead and fill in this whole top opening just to get some paint on there. And it's fine if the blue mixes in with it a little. So we've got a layer through the top part. So now let's go ahead and wipe that one off again. And now let's grab a little bit of light blue and white together. And now we're gonna fill in all the light parts of our lighthouse so up here through the top. So up here at the top, we're gonna use the light blue and white and fill in top little section with some paint. And then we're gonna skip down Let's go ahead and fill in like all of our little light colored diamonds, which these diamonds are really like white, but at nighttime, especially with the glow of the light from the lighthouse, they're going to have a little bit of a blue purple tint to them. So that's why we're adding a little bit of blue with it. But you just want to grab a bunch of paint and go for it for right now. We're just kind of getting some paint on there. We'll come back and make our lines a little bit better. Because since we're using acrylic, you kind of want to go light to dark. If you were using oils, you would go dark to light. So since this is acrylic and it's, it dries pretty fast, we're just going to put all of our light colors on there first. All right. So we have this like a base layer kind of on all of our little diamonds. So then grab like a little bit, since we have our base layer on there, grab a little bit of like a light purple with the light blue. And we're gonna throw some of this just through the right hand side because there's gonna be more of a shadow So we're going to throw a little bit of the light purple and light blue together, just kind of on the right hand side of the lighthouse. So we got that going on. So now we have all of our lights. So now let's just kind of wipe that brush off just a little bit and let's grab kind of like a royal kind of blue, like a bright royal blue. And now let's just trace around like the whole lighthouse. And don't worry like how big this gets because we're going to come back with a smaller brush. I mean a bigger brush, sorry, to get like all the background. So just kind of go for it.
don't worry if you happen to chop off a little part of your lighthouse because we'll come back and hit it all again anyway. So once we have a thin little outline, then just kind of wipe that one off, chunk it in the water, and let's grab a huge brush. So grab like the biggest brush in your cup, whatever big brush you have. This is like an inch brush. So grab that and dry it off. And we're gonna grab some more of that bright blue. And now we're just gonna throw a layer of that all through the background. So just grab a bunch and go for it any which way for right now, because we're gonna come back and add some more to it. So for right now, it doesn't matter like which way your brush strokes go. almost have us a layer and don't worry that it's really streaky we're getting ready to come back and thicken it up in just a second once it dries but once you have a layer on there then just kind of wipe that one off and chunk it in the water and let it dry for just a second all right so now we got our background a little bit more dry so let's just add us a second layer so I would grab like the huge brush again and dry it off. So grab your big brush and dry it off a little bit. And let's grab some, like, some turquoise blue with maybe even a little seafoam blue. And I would throw a bunch of that all at the top. Just along that like very top kind of. And then once you have some of that because you you're not trying to be like too perfect with it. So just kind of throw you some at the very top. Then grab some royal and turquoise together. And then we'll just kind of bring it down a little bit more. to grab a little bit more royal. So we'll grab like, still kind of the turquoise and the royal together. Cause you want it to be a little bit brighter and then let it get a little darker as you come down with it. And I'm just trying to make sure I got it. Kind of a second layer on everything just to get the background good and covered. I would 
even grab like kind of just the royal again and throw some of that all at the very bottom because you want it to be a little bit darker because it's kind of like lighting up the sky and then it's a little bit darker down here. So now we got our sky kind of thickened up. So let's wipe that one off and chunk that one in the water. And now let's go ahead, maybe grab like a number six size, so a little bit bigger than a four and dry it off. And we're gonna grab some really light blue, maybe even with a little bit of white. And now we're gonna do like the little the beam. So we're going to throw like a little line that kind of leans to the left from off the top and then a little line that kind of leans to the right. But your beam can be different because you know the light kind of moves around so I guess it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. But then once you get it on there just kind of grab some and fill it in with a little bit of paint and we can come back and tweak it later. So while it's still wet, it'll kind of mix in, but at least you can tell kind of where it is. All right, so we have the start to the little beam. So now let's just wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And let's grab like a number four again. So number four size brush and dry it off. And we're gonna grab some more of like the white and the off-white. So some white with some off-white and we're gonna throw another layer through our little part where it's lit up. just to brighten that up if you need to. And then once it dries, it might dry a little bit darker than it goes on, so we can see if we need to brighten it up even more. But I'll grab some kind of like white by itself and kind of throw it on there right through the middle because that's where you want it to be a little bit lighter. All right, so we got that another layer on there. So now let's just wipe that one off and we're gonna grab some black. Grab some black and now let's add like the little top part to the lighthouse. See, so just like where we started before with that line that leaned up a little, that's our like little cap. So you just wanna go right back over that line we had and then we're just gonna fill that in like right to the, the light color. and we can come back and tweak that if it gets a little too thick. And then right underneath that, we're gonna go ahead and fill that in with some black too. And then it's kind of hard maybe to see, but we're gonna throw a little bit of black around. Like once you get that little section filled in, then we're just gonna kind of carry it over and around on both sides. So it's like you're just whooping it around on the edges there. And 
And then once you have that, we're going to go ahead and fill in like all of our little diamonds. And just kind of go for it because once we have it on there, then we can come back and tweak the black if it got a little crazy. And the trick to like getting a good smooth line is like to load your brush with a lot of paint and then just be real light with it. As soon as I say that, I'll probably do something crazy, but you can always come back and fix it if you do something a little cray cray. But the trick is to have a lot of paint and then just to be like really light with it. People always try to do the opposite, like not have enough paint. Kind of hard since my blue is still pretty wet. If y'all's at home is like more dry, just kind of rest it on there. I'm probably going to rest mine anyway and then I can come back and fix it. And then I wouldn't worry about your windows on the lighthouse just yet because we're going to let it dry. We're going to get these little diamonds on here first. And then we can come back once it's a little dry and throw our tiny little windows. Makes me want to go to Cape Lookout. But if you happen to get something like a little crazy when you're doing this, just let it dry. Even if it's the black paint, you can come back once it dries and throw you some more over it. You're not stuck with anything. All right, so we got us a little base to our diamond. So let's wipe that one off, chunk it in the water, and let's go ahead and grab a little bit bigger brush. It's like a number eight and dry it off. And we're gonna grab some really dark green, maybe even with a tiny bit of black. Just kind of look at the black and you'll get it up, get enough of it. So dark green, on like a number six or number eight. And we're gonna throw like a little bit of it, like a tree down here or a bush. So just load your brush. And you want it to be kind of uneven. And I'm going to have it kind of go over the edge of the lighthouse down here. 
And then just for right now, I'm just going to kind of grab some of the dark green and just fill it in with a little bit. And then we can come back and kind of bump it in to make it look better in a second. So let's wipe that one off. We got a little base layer to our little trees and stuff. So wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And now let's grab a teeny tiny brush. So one that, um, like a number one. And dry it off. And we're gonna grab some like turquoise and light blue kind of together. Cause you just want these, these are gonna be stars. So you want them to show up, but not, you don't wanna use the bright white since it's like a dark sky. So probably some turquoise and light blue. And now we're gonna skip around kind of mostly through the top. You can have a through that few that hang down lower. And we're gonna just barely dab. So just kind of barely touch. And I would kind of skip around when you're doing this because you're gonna get better at it. So I would, and like you don't wanna hit them more than once. It's all right if they barely show up. And whenever you're doing it, just so they don't look like perfect polka dots, I would kind of do a few together. And then skip to another space and do a few. So maybe like up here at the top, you definitely want to make sure you have some like near that top edge, just so it doesn't look like you jumped down and it got starry. So make sure you get some near the very top edge. And you don't want it to end with like just a perfect line. So kind of have a few that hang down a little lower. All right, I think that's a good like start to our sky, to our stars. So we'll go ahead and wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. All right, let's get our lighthouse looking a little bit better now that we've let it dry a little bit. So let's go ahead, let's maybe start by adding a little bit more to our little beam. Or actually, let's add the little top part first. So we'll grab like the teeny tiny brush, so like a number one and dry it off and grab. You want mostly black with just a tiny bit of gray because it's gonna be like where the beam of light hits the top part. So it's gonna be a little bit lighter than the topper. So black with a little bit of gray. And then we're gonna add like our little, kind of like a little flame right there at the top center to the cap. And then once you get that little kind of flame on there, then we're gonna go ahead and just right where the beam of light would be coming from, we're going to make that whole little area a little bit lighter. All right, so. Now that we got that, let's go ahead and wipe that one off. And let's grab some black with that teeny tiny brush. And we're gonna add the little part, like around up here, the little, not fence, but. So you wanna skip in just a smidge and throw a line straight up and then skip in a smidge. So kind of from both sides. And then we're gonna throw a little line that it kind of leans down just a tad, and then we'll throw it right back into the edge. 
And we're gonna do the same thing over here. So let it lean down and then kind of throw it right back into the edge. And then we're gonna throw like just a few little lines to be, and whenever you do these, just kind of hit them once. You wanna leave them skinny. And now we're gonna add the little part to this because it has one too. So you wanna grab some black with some of the gray together and then coming right here off the edge, we're gonna throw a little line that goes straight up. And your mind's gonna wanna tell you to lean it out a little bit, but kinda resist the urge to lean it out. Make sure you go like up, straight up with it. And then we're gonna throw a little line that leans up just a smidge and connect those two. So you want a little bit of gray with it just so it shows up against that black. And then we're gonna do, like throw a little bit of that black and gray through the little part at the bottom here that we already had on there. And then we're gonna throw the slats going up and down through it too. So just kind of hit these once. And it's all right that they kind of barely show up through the middle because you wouldn't see them too much. All right. So we have the start to that. Now let's go ahead and wipe that one off and grab a little bit more black. And we're gonna throw our little windows on there. So I'm gonna skip up here to like the top underneath that first little diamond and throw just the bottom of a window. So just that bottom right hand corner of like a little rectangle. And then I'm gonna throw a little rectangle over here on the right hand side. And you just don't wanna to get too big with these because it's a big lighthouse and the windows are like pretty small on it. So if you get too big, just let it dry and we can come back to it. Then we're gonna skip down here and let's throw like a window through the left and then like one kind of lower on the right. I think that's a good start to our windows and our little pieces. And then this part we're probably gonna have to clean up a little bit, but just kind of let it dry for a second. So let's go ahead and wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And now let's grab like a number six or something again and dry it off. And we're gonna kind of make our little bush or tree down here look a little better. So grab some dark green you can even grab just a little bit of like a Kelly green with it too. And we're just gonna do some little bumps. So load your brush with a lot of paint and just kind of dab it on there. So you don't wanna stab it, you just wanna kind of dab it. And do them in little clusters so it doesn't look like polka dots. So kind of make sure they're, they're touching a little. All right, so now we got it a little bumpier. Makes it look a little bit better, add some texture to it. So let's wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And now we're gonna get our beam looking a little better. So we'll grab like a number four and dry it off. And let's start with like a really light blue, maybe even with some white. 
and we're gonna make it like a really lighter down towards the bottom, so like closest to the little cap. And then we'll even grab like a little bit of that light blue with like some sea foam and, and turquoise and just kind of brush some above that. You just don't want it to be a perfect line, so kind of just go for it. And then we'll even grab a little bit of royal blue with those. And we'll brush that kind of from the top down into what we did, just to kind of get like a little light beam look. All right, so we got that a little bit more filled in. So let's wipe that one off and rinse it out and dry it off. And let's grab a little bit more of that off-white and white. Just because I feel like this is still drying a little too dark. And we're going to trim up the little cap up there. So let's trim it up just a little. grab even more white, throw even more white through the middle than we had. Hopefully that'll brighten it up a little bit. I think that made it a little bit brighter. And then we'll wipe that one off and let's grab a little bit more of that like light blue and white and let's kind of smooth out like this top edge. kind of smooth out our little diamonds too, like anywhere where you needed to kind of thicken it up a little. So if you needed to grab some more of the really light purple and light blue. looks pretty good. We could grab some black and kind of thicken it up through the middle of the diamonds a little just in case you have somewhere where it's like we didn't get enough paint on there. I think that's pretty good though. So let's wipe that one off, chunk it in the water. And I would use like a teeny tiny brush again, so like a little tiny number one. And go ahead and sign it. And there we have Cape Lookout at night.
Thank you so much for tuning in today. Be sure to check us out. We're on Cox Street in Asheboro. And be sure to check out our website, www.thepreppypossum.com.